Hey everyone. Um, next stop is the is the early coverage uh, from the end of the sixth to halfway the fourth millennium. The Cucutini and Tripolia settlements are being uncovered by the hundreds at the moment. Uh, thousands have been identified from the north of uh, Ukraine to the south of Romania. Just like the Vinca culture before it, it causes the archaeologists and historians to reconsider their previous chronology and uh, their conclusions what the formation of cities or the development of metallurgy is concerned. The old paradigm of uh, ex oriente lux, uh, meaning all wisdom and innovation comes from the east, might uh, very well be false, Ali, to a certain extent. We know now that uh, already in the earliest centuries in which this uh, culture develops, uh, there is a contact with the nomadic tribes uh, from the Pontic steppes. And although the, the Cucutini culture is thought of as a matriarchal one, it is generally assumed that the merging with this uh, supposed patriarchally organized uh, nomadic culture happened in a peaceful way. Archaeologists uh, often look at the way people are handling their deceased, um, their methods, methods of uh, burial uh, to outline a culture, like uh, finding uh, burials in different styles made them conclude that these two cultures merged uh, rather gradually and peacefully. Uh, if you want to know more on the Kurgan, hypothesis, I propose to check the works of Kim Butas or uh, Renfrew, uh, which are available on the net, and I will put links uh, below. Some settlements are small. Uh, for others, however, the term megasite is used because they offered housing up to, uh, to, up to at least uh, 20,000 people. Some of these early towns had in them very large communal buildings and workshops. Especially in the first half of the fourth millennium BC, they, uh, these sites uh, showed a tendency to form out huge agglom agglomerations of houses, uh, which occupy very large spaces up to 300 and more than 300 hectares. These people specialized in the fabrication of uh, elaborate ceramics on which we found our symbol and although the pattern uh, used often seems to have sprang forth out of the basic uh, fourfold uh, form of the swastika the crude form is mostly found on the as a potter's mark on the bottom of the vessels they were next to making ceramics also exploiting local salt mines on a large scale and uh, from the early stages on, they were performing metallurgy, for which they used resources from up to 500 kilometers away. And now there are two questions I would like to pose. Uh, first, archaeologists have established that these people had a tendency to burn down uh, the settlements within a rather uh, short periods of uh, 100 to 300 years, and they would collectively resettle on a distance uh, sometimes around uh, 20 kilometers away uh, and sometimes they would also in time uh, 
again use the formerly abandoned site. And my question is, could it be that the reason for this has to do with the fact that their manufacture of ceramics, their metallurgy, their salt exploitation, their um, deforestation because of the uh, uh, um, agricultural use of the land, could this have caused a uh, short shortage of uh, wood supply uh, that would make them move away? And secondly, uh, since we find traces of huge undertakings, what the production of ceramics is concerned, can we assume they were a tradable co commodity for them? Uh, with the excavation of uh, one specific Kurgan in the north of Kazakhstan, it became clear that the Kurgan people did transport some of these uh, ceramics. Also, figurines of cattle, of foreign cattle to the area, uh, uh, they do hint to the long distance contacts uh, these cultures had. The use of horses and wagons is determined to be 3500 uh, BC, mainly on the trove of remains of horses showing traces of the use of bits. In my humble opinion, that is so wrong. People risk their necks just for the sheer fun of doing so. Surely a rodeo would be a true challenge, especially knowing that early horses were not at all uh, big and the same for reindeer. Maybe the ladies and lords renovated archaeologists have known too, uh, uh, too protected youth to be able to imagine that a uh, Neolithic man uh, used, used his wit and, uh, and guts to make transport more easier. Since we touched on China, I want to mention another curious thing here. This is a picture that is often shown to underline a peculiar appearance, apparent connection uh, between Eastern Europe and ancient uh, China. Uh, the symbol uh, most well known as the yin yang appears on these uh, ceramic huts and uh, also on pottery. These ceramic vessels are uh, very similar to the hut urns used in the Villa Novan or early Etruscan culture for uh, burying ashes of the deceased. I am not sure what the use of them in uh, the Cucutini Tripoli culture is, though. The appearance of this symbol uh, would suggest an obvious contact with ancient China, but of course it isn't that simple since uh, it has not been in use in the East before the first millennium BC. The original name over there was not Yin Yang, by the way, as we know it, but uh, Taiji Tu. And the meaning of Taiji is very interesting. It is an old uh, Chinese cosmological term, uh, which uh, literally stands for uh, Great Pole. If you want to read, I propose you pause or go to the wiki, uh, wiki page to learn more uh, specifically on the Taijito. Uh, just to make clear, I am not denying a possible contact, but neither does uh, the appearance of the symbol prove uh, a contact as such. Um, which is obvious, though, is that the meaning given to the Taijito relates to the same ancient notion of the celestial pole as mentioned in the first episode on the on the mesine birds um, other than that uh, there is another proof of an earlier use of this symbol in the west namely a depiction found in an old uh, roman manuscript called De notitia dignitatum uh, this book uh, describes the different institutions of the Roman army and lists uh, shields of uh, different divisions. And according to Wiki, uh, this still predates Taoist used by the Chinese uh, with uh, several centuries. And with that, I think uh, 
I can close off this uh, episode on the Cucutini three polycultures uh, of the Copper Age and I hope you found it interesting enough and I will talk to you soon.